Hello, my name is Kimberly and we're going to do a chair yoga class today. We're going to focus on keeping the body strong, everything nice and still, and we're really going to work on holding our poses, okay? Very important to keep the body, your core engaged. And here we go. Sit forward in your chair as far as you can. Have your tummy supporting you, specifically your core, which is the trunk of your body, front and back. Make sure it's engaged, shoulders back and down. And what we're going to do is an arm circle back, and then we will come forward with our palms together, like so. Arm circle back, palms together, and repeat. Arm circles back, together. Good. Inhale as you bring them back. Exhale as you come forward. Again. Inhale, arms back. Exhale, arms forward. Let's do three more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Get everything nice and loose. Let's do one more, looking good. Very nice, okay. Next thing that we're going to do is a cactus pose. And basically what a cactus pose is, is again, you're gonna be sitting really far up in your chair and you're going to have your arms like so. 90 degree angle, only do what you can tolerate, okay. If you can't get your arms quite up to 90 degrees, it's okay if they're bent a little bit or hanging down, just do what you can. So at the 90 degree angle, what you're going to do is open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then bring your arms together, palms in, okay? Inhale, open to cactus. Exhale, close. Keeping the core nice and strong. Inhale out. Exhale in. Good. Again, shoulders back and down. Inhale out. Exhale in. Feet about shoulder width apart. Inhale. Three more. Exhale. Final two. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Open, open and exhale good kind of shake out your arms a little bit that was a nice strong upper body workout so far okay and what we're going to do next are shoulder rolls so what you're going to focus on feet about hip width apart again you're going to roll your shoulders starting up behind you and to the front okay up roll back and down to the front. Up, roll back, and down to the front. Really keeping those arms, um, you know, as low as you can. But when you're coming up, of course you have to bring them up. But you shouldn't look like Frankenstein, okay? So big roll back, and then come forward, okay? Inhale on your way up, and exhale as you roll back and down. Good, nice deep breaths, inhale, roll back, exhale, come down. Again, inhale, roll back, and really exaggerate when you come down. Again, three more. You look wonderful, wonderful. Good, one more. And pause right there. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to be rolling forward this time. So going in the reverse direction. Okay, here we go. Up, roll forward. And down. Okay, up, roll forward. And then back down again. Let's have my arms extended here. 
up, roll forward, and back down. Good. And this is just to get the shoulders moving, your deltoids, it's another name for the shoulder muscle, because we're so used to being in this position that just by exaggerating that down part, we separate the neck from the head. And usually we have our, our shoulders up to our ears, so we want to kind of reverse course. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, roll forward and down. Three more, please. Inhale up, roll forward and down. Last two. And down, nice long neck. Final one. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna do a slight arm stretch here just to get our arms more engaged. They've already been through quite a lot. So you're gonna have one arm in the air, okay, straight up. And what you're going to do is kind of lean over. Again, do what you can tolerate, okay? If you can't get your arm perfectly straight, bent is totally fine, okay? And you wanna hold that momentarily. Just get a stretch, opposite arm is straight out to the side. And you wanna feel it all in your trunk. The obliques, they call this, the kind of the sides of the abdomen, that muscle. Right. Okay, and now let's go slowly, deliberately to the other side. Same process. Again, a bent elbow is fine. Just do, again, what you can tolerate. Again, get the oblique right here, keeping your core tight. Beautiful, okay, good. All right, let's move down to the lower body before we do our first pose, okay? So you're going to have your legs wide. You're going to have your heels up, toes pointed, okay? So it's going to look like the following, okay? You start flat-footed, sitting up straight, hands on your thighs, heels up, Heels down, okay? As you bring your heels up, inhale. Heels down, exhale. Good. Heels up, inhale. Heels down, exhale. And repeat, let's do three more. Inhale, core tight. Exhale, last two, inhale. One more, the strongest one. And exhale, very nice, okay? Now we're going to do a little stretch. I'm gonna show you from the side what this is going to look like so you have a better view. You're going to have one leg straight out, the other leg at a 45 degree angle, foot flat on the ground, that opposite leg, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start on your heel of the outstretched, uh, outstretched leg, excuse me. If it's a little bit bent, that's okay, okay? Again, do what you can, okay? And you're going to make ankle rolls. This is a joint that's neglected, our ankle joint. We do a lot of damage to them with excessive sitting, excessive standing. So we're gonna get a nice big stretch here by rolling your ankle. Go clockwise and then counterclockwise or vice versa. Notice I'm sitting up straight, my shoulders are back. I have excellent posture. Oh, I can feel my ankles cracking already. It feels good. Okay, now let's move the other leg to a 45 degree angle. Opposite leg straight out in front of you. You're on the heel. And again, sitting up straight, you're going to make ankle circles. Okay, I'm going counterclockwise. And then I'll go clockwise. And of course you can do it in either order, as long as you get both ways. 
Okay, if your leg is a little bit bent, that's okay. Just try to get as much range of motion as you can. Okay, let's do a couple more circles. And a couple more the other way. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to work into our first pose, the warrior pose. Okay, classic yoga pose. What we're going to do is sit forward in our chair. We're gonna have our legs wide. We're going to have one knee bent, okay? The other leg is as straight as you can make it, okay? If you can put your feet flat on the ground, that's great. If you need a little bit heel heavy, toe up, that's also fine, okay? You're gonna have your arms up, parallel to the ground. Make sure your arm is stacked on top of the knee, okay? And what you're going to do is that front knee is your lead knee, okay? Nice and strong, shoulders back and down. Again, arms wide, you're going to look like a warrior towards your front arm, which is stacked on top of your knee again, and just hold that pose, okay? That's all there is to it. Again, arms are parallel to the ground, bend that knee forward, and you're looking strong, looking down, and you hold that pose, okay? And it's, it's not easy, it's simple, but it's not easy, okay? But when you're able to hold that pose, it shows you're able to hold your own body weight up, okay? And it's invigorating to be able to do that, you know? Okay, now we're going to do reverse warrior pose, what looks like the following. You're gonna take that lead arm up in, your, in the air, the other leg, you will put your hand on your thigh slash knee as far as you can reach, okay? And arm up in the air and a little bit of a bend so you can feel a stretch in your trunk, similar to the oblique stretch that we did earlier. This is reverse warrior. Okay. Excellent. Okay. And you can also go the other way putting your palm on your knee, and we're gonna put the, the back leg, uh, the back arm up and reach. Good. Now we're going to reverse course on everything, legs included, our other leg. In my case, my left, your right, will be bent. Okay, opposite leg will be as straight as you can. Again, if you have your toe up, that's fine. If your knee's a little bit bent, that's also fine. Arms parallel to the ground. Make sure your arm is stacked on top of that knee and you're looking forward to that bent knee. Make sure your shoulders are back and down again. Stay super strong, core strong, and hold that pose. And again, you just feel that, that invigoration from the tip of your fingers on one side to the tip of your fingers on the other side, and hold. Excellent. Okay, and now we're going to do reverse warrior, okay? Lead arm up in the air, okay? Feel free to put your hand down on the side if you like, and stretch in the trunk, those obliques. Okay, give them some love. Good. This is your reverse warrior pose. Good. And feel free to do the other arm as well. Make sure you use your non-engaged hand. Just kind of put it on your knee here and stretch the trunk that way. What a strong warrior you are. Okay, great. Next thing you're going to do is a triangle pose. We'll do it together. You're gonna to have your legs wide at a 45 degree angle. Not quite as wide as the warrior pose, but wide nonetheless. This time your feet are gonna be flat on the ground. You're gonna have one arm straight up in the air, the other arm straight down. And the idea is you're thinking you are in a straight line, your arms are, from the tip of your fingers to the tips of the fingers on the other arm. And you're just stretching, core nice and tight, strong, and hold. Okay, 
Again, keeping the core tight, tummy tight, and engaged. We'll hold this momentarily. Chin up, excellent posture. And let's switch. So we have the other arm up and the opposite arm down. Fingers outstretched. And again, you're imagining them in a straight line, your arms from the sky to the ground. And hold that. Excellent. You're holding these poses beautifully. Okay. Okay. And also work with what you've got. If your arms aren't stick straight, that's okay. It's the effort that counts. You're still pushing yourself beyond your normal limits. And that's how we make progress. Okay. Next exercise we're going to do is you're going to have your feet a little bit closer together, hip width apart. What you're going to do is one arm over the other and you're going to press your palms together. The idea here is to stretch um, your upper back between your shoulder blades, okay? Pressing your palms together, okay? As a modification, it's okay to have your arms in front of you, even slightly bent. Again, the point is to push past your progress. So every time you're making a little bit of progress. So shoulders down, chin up, press those palms together and breathe. And you should feel your upper back opening up. Hold that momentarily. Good, and switch. Other arm over, and again press, just to make it equal on each side. Good, sitting up straight, core engaged, chin up, you're strong, ready for the day. Okay, you're feeling like your shoulder blades are being pulled apart, but in a nice stretch. Now, conversely, we're going to stretch the chest. So opening up the body on the reverse side, the flip side. So I'll show you from the side here, sitting up straight, feet about hip width apart. You're gonna interlace your fingers if you can. If you can't, just hold them behind you like so. And what you're going to do is, you're gonna lift your arms up to open up the chest. Again, shoulders back. And as you lift your arms, your chin will come up. Okay. As you bring your arms back to starting position, your chin comes back down. So chin up and chin down. And inhale as you're coming up. Chin up, arms up. Exhale, chin down. Arms down. Chin up, arms up. Inhale, chin down, arms down. Exhale, let's do two more, please. Nice strong back, strong core. Last one. Good, okay. All right, so we're going to finish now with a neck stretch, very gently. We don't want to be yanking on our neck. We don't want that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one arm straight toward the ground. The other arm is gonna come up over your head and gently just take one finger towards your ear and nudge your head over to the side. So you feel a stretch in the side of your neck. Okay, and hold. And with each position, my core is engaged. I'm sitting up straight. That all stays the same. Good, let's hold for five more counts. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly reverse course, okay. My right arm, your left arm in this case, arm straight. Other arm overhead. I'm just taking one finger, my middle finger, and I'm pulling down, okay. And as much as possible, your shoulders stay down. 
and getting a neck stretch on the other side. Five more seconds to finish. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, shake it out, shake it out. Arms and legs. We have completed our course for today, our chair yoga session. You did beautifully. Um, please join me again. My name is Kimberly and um, thanks for joining me.